There's a lot that's known about how fear is processed in the brain. We think of it as something that we feel inside our body, but it's actually being processed up there. First, you process sensory input, sights and sounds and so on that might make you fearful, but that has to go through the amygdala, which is like a switchboard. It's important for emotions, for all kinds of emotions, not just fear. And what the amygdala is doing is connecting our higher sensory systems, higher processing systems with that lower brainstem emotional coordinator. And the amygdala lights up if you put people in an MRI scanner and you give them a fearful stimulus or a very emotional stimulus of any kind, the amygdala will light up. And so the, one of the characteristics of the amygdala is it's very trainable. It, it trains up over life. We learn what to be afraid of. We learn what to like. One of the peculiarities of these emotional systems in the brain is that they're very small and they're very compact and yet they process an enormous range of emotions and that leads to this possibility of crosstalk between different emotions. In effect, a fearful stimulus, if it's a very strong stimulus, could have spreading activation that leads to other kinds of emotional reactions and that's one hypothesis as to why some people really enjoy scaring themselves. I'm Mike Graziano. I'm a professor of neuroscience and psychology at Princeton University.